Hi guys, it's DJ here from Cozy RC. We got the GeForce Twin Mono at the pond. We are going to speedrun it today. I put two 6S 4Amp 70C LiPos in it. And we are running with two 3674 2200 kV motors. I zeroed the GPS. So we're going to put it in the boat. And we're going to tape it up and give it a rip. Alright, ready to go. Compared to last time, I up trimmed the stingers slightly, so they are now neutral set. We are running with with 43 mm 1.6 pitch props. Let's see how it goes. I pre-warmed the lipos at home, so I hope that it helps with the power delivery. Let's wait for the ripples to cool down. Okay, there we go. First sprint. Awesome. Wow, that looks convincing. Actually, that looked like the record to me. Let's make another sprint. Maybe a little bit longer now. Nice. So the record with these props is 115 kilometers an hour. Okay, there we go. Nice. Wow. Against the wind, a little bit careful on the throttle. Wow, once it starts to wobble, you really have to come off the throttle to calm it down again. I think the uptrim of the stingers definitely helped. I can hear the motor spooling up more. Something seems wrong. Oh no, 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 no. Why? Okay, this is bad. All right, I have to save it. All right, guys, I retrieved the G-Force. It was quite a challenge, but I finally got it back. And uh, well, as you can see, it doesn't look good. One of the cooling hoses detached over here the inlet and the cooling hose is somewhere loose in the boat so that was the reason it filled up with water and therefore it sank until the bow luckily I had my rescue boat so I could save it back to the shore ah too bad it was running so well actually the GPS even though water came in did register the top speed and it is difficult to see but I got a speed of 118, which is a record. Yeah, sorry guys, you cannot really see it, but you have to trust me on that. 118. So I'm absolutely thrilled with the speed, but obviously I need a lot of work to get the boat ready to run again. I hope that my LiPos and my electronic speed controller survived. 
but let's see about that in the workshop. It's a few days later and we got the GeForce Twin Mono in the workshop. I already completely disassembled all electronics from the hull. So I took out the ESCs, the motors, the receiver. And uh, let me tell you, the smell of a burnt ESC is awful. So I don't wish that happening to you. The smell was even so bad that I took the hull outside for a few days. So let's recap on what I think happened. What I'm sure about is that one of the cooling hoses flew off. So this hull uses uh, two water inlets on the bottom of the hull. It's very effective. But unfortunately in the last run, this cooling inlet, I'm not sure if you can see clearly over here. That one flew off, the silicon hose flew off the aluminium pipe, even though I put a tie wrap on it. And obviously when the silicon hose is off the water inlet, the hull will fill completely with water in no time. So even though maybe I took four or five sprints back and forth, it was already enough to completely fill the hull and it was sinking with the bow up. And I think the water in the hull caused a short circuit of the right ESC. And well, it wanted to burn down, but obviously due to all the water, there was no fire in the boat. Luckily, that ESC was completely toast. I will show you a picture of it right now. So that was obviously beyond saving. Um, yeah, the reason why it shorted to me is not completely clear. Most likely it's due to my custom cooling block. So I removed the original cooling block and I put my own cooling block with cooling on top of the fats. So this cooling is way more effective. But one of the drawbacks of this modification could be that the water resistance of the ESC is not as good as it was before. Even though I completely sealed the ESC again with epoxy, as you can see, all around. Probably the right ESC had a small leak somewhere. Water came in and it shorted. I cannot think of any other reason why it shorted or why it burned down. Uh, especially since there was a lot of water in the hull. To me it makes logic sense that it shorted and therefore it broke down. Both ESCs, this one and the burnt down one, were already submerged in water before. Because it happened to me before that the hatch completely flew off. The boat filled with water and it was again bow up in the water and uh, both of them survived but this time I was unfortunate and I lost one of the ESCs. So I think this one is still good. I didn't test it after the crash but of course I certainly will. And uh, these are the motors. I completely disassembled them, took out the stator, let them dry, re-oiled the bearings so they should be fine. Luckily I have another Flycolor 150 amp in stock. So I will put another cooling plate, custom cooling plate on it like this. Seal it very well again and then put it back in the boat. And then we're going to speed run it again in the next year. And uh, yeah, I was very happy with how the boat performed. I raised the stingers in the last run and it was obvious that the boat ran more loose from the water. And I matched my personal best with this boat in the last run, which is 118 kilometers an hour. It's about 70 miles an hour. I think this setup with these 3674-2200 kV motors on 6S should be able to pass 80 miles an hour or about 135-140 km an hour. Um, but I think I need to find the right prop. I have some idea to try some ABC props. I also got some recommendation from my friend Daishu. So yes, in the next year I will definitely speedrun this boat again. Alright guys, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!